Hi there, this is Brad Pielon for truthaboutprotein.com and today we are talking about uh, amino acid supplements, uh, specifically looking at safety and toxicity. So of the amino acid supplements, the, the most popular ones currently are the branch chain amino acids, uh, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Um, of the branch chain amino acids, leucine is probably the most important and most popular right now. So we really want to look at, you know, if people are going to be supplementing with these amino acids, are they safe? Um, the good news is that while many researchers actually put the tolerable upper limit of the branched chain amino acids, and specifically leucine, a lot lower than I would have expected, uh, as low as 15 milligrams of BCAs per kilogram per day, um, practically we know that the tolerable upper limit is a lot higher than this, just from, um, well, from, from bodybuilders and people taking large doses of supplements, we know the body can handle larger amounts of branching amino acids. Uh, this is because, luckily, our bodies are very good at oxidizing the branching amino acids. We used to think that branching amino acids were only oxidized in skeletal muscle, oxidized being like burnt. Um, but now we do know that not only can branching amino acids be oxidized in your body fat, they can also be stored in your body fat through a series of processes that eventually turns them, well, into body fat. So the main concern is chronic levels of high branching amino acids in your blood. And that's what you want to be worried about. Acute increases, like after uh, a protein meal, uh, can actually be considered a good thing. From, from a muscle building point of view, uh, elevated branching amino acids in your blood acutely, like small elevations for small periods of time, signal for muscle building. So, hey, this is a good thing. What you don't want is prolonged, very high, very elevated levels of blood branching amino acids. Luckily, our bodies have built-in systems via the way they can oxidize branched amino acids and take care of that. They don't. A healthy body will not let branched amino acid levels in your blood stay too high for too long. So, from just a review of the safety and toxicity, I don't see a real concern with you know moderate, uh, if not sort of not crazy, uh, doses of branched amino acids. I wouldn't again you know, be, be mainlining this stuff or anything like that. But the typical doses that you see on, on any supplement packaging is probably that realistic and, and safe. So that's Brad Peel. I'm just giving you sort of my two cents about amino acid safety and toxicity uh, for truthaboutprotein.com.